where has to find each probability as a percent rounded to a tenth of a percent. First, we're asked to find the probability of two rainy days in a row when the probability of rain on each single day is 45%. Because the probability of rain on each single day is 45%, whether there is rain on the first day or not does not affect whether there is rain or not on the second day, and therefore the events of rain on the two days are independent events. When we have independent events, the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So in our case, the probability of rain on the first day and rain on the second day is equal to the probability of rain on the first day times the probability of rain on the second day. In both cases, the probabilities are 45%, which is a decimal is equal to 0 0.45, giving us 0 0.45 times 0 0.45 for the probability of two rainy days in a row. Going to the calculator, we have 0 0.45 times 0 0.45. This gives us the probability as a decimal, and now we need to convert the decimal to a percent and round to a tenth of a percent. To convert to a percent, we move the decimal point two places to the right and add a percent sign, or multiply by 100 and add a percent sign. which gives us 20.25%, but again, we're asked to round to the tenth of a percent because we have a five in the hundreds place value, we round up to 20.3%. So let's write this as approximately 20.3%. Next, determine the probability of two days with no rain in a row, when again, the probability of rain on a single day is 45%. Well, if the probability of rain on a single day is 45%, the probability of no rain on a single day would have to be 100% minus 45% or 55%. And again, the two events are independent, so we have the probability of no rain on the first day and no rain on the second day, which is equal to the probability of no rain on the first day times the probability of no rain on the second day. And again, the probability of no rain is equal to 100% minus the probability of rain, or minus 45%, which gives us 55%. Or as a decimal, 0 0.55, giving us 0 0.55 times 0 0.55. And now going back to the calculator, let's find the product. Here we have the probability as a decimal, which we now need to convert to a percent, and then round to the nearest tenth of a percent. So again, we can go ahead and multiply by 100, or move the decimal point two places to the right. Either way, we have 30.25%, but again, we're asked to round to a tenth of a percent because of the five and the hundredths place value, we round up to 30.3%. I hope you found this helpful.